Don't let the blurry video fool you. What is being said has proven to be some of the most valuable advice I've ever received. And all of us who do creative work, like, you know, we get into it. And we get into it because we have good taste. Do you know what I mean? Like, you want to make TV because you love TV. You know what I mean? Because there's stuff that you just, like, love. Okay? So you've got really good taste. And you get into this thing that, that I don't even know how to describe, but it's like there's a gap. That for the first couple of years that you're making stuff, what you're making isn't so good. I stumbled upon this video a few weeks after I committed to uploading weekly videos. I didn't really know who Ira Glass was at this point, but his earnestness was welcomed. And I've been a fan ever since. I would later immortalize this moment by buying a poster with a transcription of this interview written on it. You know, I've been thinking a lot about my early videos recently, partly because I just celebrated 11 years of creating my YouTube channel, and this July will mark seven years since I committed to uploading every week. And because I'm also part of the Internet Creators Guild, this week a bunch of creators are making videos based around the idea of create. So check out the link down in the description. Of the five early videos that are still public, on my channel, there is mostly nothing good there. We have an interview with Michael Buckley at the first ever VidCon. We have an attempt at me being funny, an interview with Stuart McLean, rest in peace, a vlog in the style of a silent film, it's really bad, and then a collaboration with a musician where I tried to write a funny song. It's mostly funny because of my hair. If we were to only focus on the individual videos, then there's nothing there but bad. But if we were to zoom out and look at all these videos as a whole, then I have a different perspective. Without working out the bad, I couldn't arrive at the good. Now that's not me trying to humble brag, I'm just saying that I'm the best video maker on YouTube. That's not true, but I have created good content in the past. It just didn't happen in the first year. Too often we're hindered by this desire for perfection. We won't even begin a project until we're guaranteed that it's going to be great. We can't start something unless we know it's going to be amazing. But amazing takes time. Unless you're some sort of savant of an artist, you need to cultivate a legacy. You have to create content. I remember somebody telling me this story about Picasso, and I don't actually know if this is really true, but it feels like it could be, and it illustrates my point, so it's basically real. And that's how news works. The story involves what happened after Picasso died. In his basement were these hundreds of paintings and drawings that he never released. He didn't think they were good enough. And so he needed to go through that creation process. He had to keep creating so that he could move on to his masterworks. And who isn't the modern day Picasso but me? And really, I have released everything that I've created. So in a way, I've created more value than Picasso. Think about it and then forget it. When you begin the creative process, you want it to be great. And someday, it's going to be. But don't allow the first few bad steps to ruin what is gonna be your ultimate destination. And the thing I would just like say to you with all my heart is that m most everybody I know who does interesting creative work, they went through a phase of years where they had really good taste, they could tell what they were making wasn't as good as they wanted it to be. They knew it felt short, you know, and, and, and like and some of us could admit that to ourselves and some of us are a little less able to admit that to ourselves. But we knew like it didn't have this special thing that we wanted it to have. And the thing I would say to you is everybody goes through that. And for you to go through it, if you're going through it right now, if you're just getting out of that phase, if you're just starting off and you're entering into that phase, you got to know it's totally normal. And the most important possible thing you could do is do a lot of work. Like I said, this was done in celebration of the Internet Creators Guild, so a link to their website and a link to that playlist is going to be down in the description below. My name is Kyle, and I keep slugging away uploading videos every Monday and Thursday. The crazy thing is that I was kind of a little bit proud of those videos when I uploaded them. Man, just a little bit of distance, a little bit of growth, a little bit of hair loss really colors your perspective. Thanks, Ira. You're my boo.